Welcome to Project Here, Health Education and Advocacy for Refugees. We are an initiative founded by a group of students across the country who are passionate about reducing health disparities in refugee populations across the United States. During the summer of 2022, we received a grant for travel to Houston, one of the largest refugee hotspots in the country, in order to aid relief efforts on the ground and to begin the foundation for an education framework in a mobile health application. This four-day effort consisted of a variety of activities, but perhaps most notably included interviews with refugees engulfed in neighborhoods to better understand their stories, administering surveys to better inform the development of our mobile health application, developing an educational curriculum centered on the medical kits we are providing to the refugees, and collaborating with community health organizations to help run a COVID-19 vaccination site. Our community partner, CHAP, Culture of Health Advancing Together, provided us with the indispensable service of translators for languages such as Dari, Pushta, and Arabic that are spoken throughout the neighborhood. So we first wanted to start with saying thank you so much for um, sharing your personal experience with us for Project Here, Healthcare, Education, and Advocacy for Refugees. If you could just tell us a little bit more about your experience, um, your transition to the United States. It's You can use these tweezers to immediately pull it out. However, this is only recommended when a something is at the surface. The majority of the kit is just bandages. There's different sizes, so depending on how long or big the cut is. Just... Chat, our primary partner on the ground and founded by Dr. Aisha Siddiqui, provided us not only with translators and translations for our surveys and when talking to refugees, but also with contacts and leaders on the ground to better provide the care and the understanding needed for this population. During our final days in Houston, we were able to participate in a collaboration between CHAT and City Medical Center a local clinic with the parent organization, Foundation for Better Education, to provide cash incentives and administer COVID-19 vaccines. While vaccinating community members, we were able to listen to their story to not only aid in the development of our mobile health application, but to gain a glimpse into the daily struggles of refugees in the United States. And what resources would be helpful? Doctor is expensive, it's really expensive in the United States, so since my family, they, they don't have insurance, only I have it, so most of the time they cannot go and see the doctor. During this trip, we were able to survey a sample size of over 300 refugees, providing information on topics ranging from dental care to exercise and income for a health application. We provided close to $200 in school supplies and medical kits, and over $600 was provided in cash for COVID-19 vaccines. We appreciate the support of the community health workers that spent long and hot days with us, and the countless public health practitioners we met along the way who have dedicated their lives to support one of the most marginalized groups in the world, 